All right, in today's video, I wanna be covering how often should you be working out? Whenever people start our programs, they ask us often, what should I be doing? How often should I be coming into the studio and exercising? And so I'm Brian Cade, I'm the owner of Cade Fit, where we empower people to move beyond their limits, both mind and body, so that they can create the life that they want. And so whenever people start out, my recommendation is come as often as you can. Um, and whether it's to the studio or not, act, be as active seven days a week. And there's a couple reasons for this. Um, one is going to be community. When you're a part of a community that is being active, moving towards your goals, that's gonna motivate you, connect you to your own goals, and give you some momentum moving forward. The challenge is if you come one day and wait, you get some of that hype, that energy moving forward, and then you wait till Friday because you came on Monday, and then it's like, ah, you lost some of that momentum, that energy that's keeping you on track. And so being a part of that community on a regular basis, interacting with people, all being active, is going to help motivate you, inspire you, and help you make the changes you want even faster. Um, the second thing is we're designed to move as people. So if you want to build in the habit of being active, you want to get moving on a regular basis, make it consistent, where it's just something you do every day. How can you move on a regular basis in a variety of different ways? And uh, the other thing is research also shows that people who have lost weight like significant amount, over 50 pounds, and kept it off for years, one of the main habits that they do is that they move seven days a week for an hour. Now that doesn't always have to be coming to the studio and working out, but that's whether it's swimming, running, gardening, dancing, trampoline parks, which I enjoy doing. Um, I know that said that in other videos, but finding ways that are fun to move, do that often. So come to the studio, get movement on a regular basis because your mind, your body, your emotions, all of it functions best when you're moving. We are wired to move as a species. And so you gotta move in a variety of ways and make it fun for you so you enjoy it. Um, and then the final thing with movement, how often should you be showing up, is you're gonna learn and build that habit so much faster the more you're immersed in that environment. When you're learning how to squat three days a week, you're gonna get that much better at it. When you're crawling and doing the posture work, you're gonna learn it so much faster and your body's gonna adapt to it. Um, anything you do on a regular basis becomes a habit. So make this a habit so you learn how to enjoy using your body and you're gonna get results even better. Um, and the final thing is when people start out, they want to go a thousand miles an hour. And if the goal is to work out for the rest of your life, you got all the time in the world, or at least as long as you got left. And so don't be in a rush. A lot of times when I, people hear, ah, oh, you're going to work out six days a week, they think they got to work out um, as hard as they can, otherwise it doesn't count. And no, that's actually a lot of times people who push too hard keep them from getting the progress that they want because one, you feel beat up, you're not as consistent, and your body needs to rest and recover. So by slowing down some days, come in, do a challenging workout, maybe Monday, come back Tuesday, and go at half the pace you did Monday. Just move, it'll work out some of that soreness, it's gonna get the blood flow, help your body recover, and you're gonna learn the movement even though it's easy for you. And then when you're feeling great on Wednesday, go, go hard again, do a harder intensity, challenge yourself. And maybe because Wednesday was hard, Thursday and Friday, you're feeling sore and a bit beat up. So go easy on those days. Come in, move, use your body, learn the movements, adapt, and allow your body to recover because you're moving regularly. But make it easy on yourself. And when you're feeling amazing Thursday and Friday because you took it easy, come back Saturday and challenge yourself again. So listen to your body. Some days are gonna be harder and, and then other days are gonna be easier. But as you adapt that, your overall volume, intensity is gonna be able to increase and you'll be able to do a lot more each day. But take it easy, you got the rest of your life to build in this habit and become the person you've set out to do when you set these goals. So that's my recommendation when you're starting out. Come as often as you can, move on a regular basis and find ways to make it fun, whether it's here at the studio or activities that you do with the family. Um, enjoy the process. So I'm Brian K. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not a part of the studio and you'd like a week to come in, check it out. Go to kfit.com and you can get a free week. Come hang out with us and experience the process with us. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.